What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have a special edition unboxing video for you. You guys have been asking me this off the chain in the comment section of all of my videos. So yes, as you can see in the background, I got Nerd Blocks Vinyl Palooza. I think this is, is this 2.0? I mean, technically, I don't know how many times they've done this, but I got this very early on in my unboxing career. Can you see them? There they are. Same, are these the same boxes? Yeah, they are. So uh, when I first started doing unboxing um, videos, they had this and I got them. And if you guys remember, I got a ton of the Piccolos from Dragon Ball Z. And uh, yeah, they're back at it again. Back at it again with their Vinyl Palooza boxes. Uh, this time around I got five boxes. I think last time I got four boxes and I got a ton of duplicates. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have the same fate, but I figured let's go ahead and see. I guess if I um, do get a lot of duplicates, now that I know how to ship things and I'm a shipping all-star, just ask Jody because she got my one box that I've ever sent out and it made it to her and it was safe and it had a Funko Pop in it, so that means that I'm basically a pro now at shipping out Funko Pops, and I'm a pro at shipping them out international, see? So if you win one of my giveaways, if you don't want an actual box, you can just let me know and I'll uh, I'll give you, you know, some Funko Pops. All right, guys, um, I forgot how much these, I think they cost around $30 each. I've heard not so great things, though, about this round of Vinyl Palooza. I feel like a lot of people were very unhappy with what they got, but I have not watched any unboxing videos, so I don't know what kind of things they had. Usually they're pretty similar though. So let's go ahead and check it out. Well, I'm already excited because, oh, I'm actually very excited because look, this time I got four Funko Pops. If you guys remember also last time they gave me some like Titan vinyl ones and stuff, but ain't nobody got time for that. I shouldn't say that yet because you never know. There could be some in these boxes. All right, let's see what we got. The first item we got is Hank Schrader from Breaking Bad. Look, a show that I don't watch. Oh, and look at this box. Oh, it's in terrible condition. It's like ripped. Like the box is actually ripped. Way to go, nerd block. Way to go. I hope this isn't just like the crappy ones that they couldn't sell. All right, so there we go. Where can I put these? Can you see it right there? Let me move my blanket. One down. More to go. The next one that we got is, oh, this is cool. It's Claire from The Breakfast Club. I love that movie. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you forget about me. Cool. No, I like this. I, I've never, I knew that they had a Breakfast Club series, but I've never seen a Funko Pop from the Breakfast Club series. So I actually enjoy this. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> we got Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh man, I loved this movie. This was like one of those like, this was one of those cult classics I feel like. I haven't seen this movie in forever. I feel like I need to go back and watch it again. And then the last one that we got, and this one's actually really cool though. I don't think I have this one, but I don't really remember because I've gotten a whole bunch of these. So this is Deadpool. And it's Deadpool with his thumbs up, or with a thumb up. I don't think I got this one. I'm pretty sure I got him with swords. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the only one I have. And some, like, different ones of him in different colors. Okay, so that was the first box. Hey, guys, that was a very successful box. I actually really enjoyed it a lot, and, uh, I would rank this pretty high. You know, I always give Funko Pops $10. You guys always yell at me and say, hey, you can get them cheaper. You probably could get these cheaper because they're not, like, new ones. But I'm very happy with the selection I got. The only one that I don't really like is the Breaking Bad one. But I feel like... We're on a good pace here, so let's pick a box. I just put these guys up here and I realize I'm gonna have to take them down so I can get these boxes away. Eh, block those so you don't see my address. Okay, box dos. Oh, bye Mac. Okay, don't see any duplicates yet and we got four more Funko Pops, so let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, some of these boxes are not good condition. So the first, the first person that we got is Red from Orange is the New Black. This box isn't in the greatest condition. It's kind of cut up and it's really bent up in the back. But I love this show, although I didn't watch the newest season. It got a little bit cray cray, but I was really invested the first couple of seasons. I like Red. Well, she was a jerk in the first season, but you know, I won't spoil it for those of you who haven't seen it yet. All right, next we got, oh, I already have this one, but this is very cool, man. These boxes are already way better than the first time I did the Vinyl Palooza. So we got Star Wars. This is Luke Skywalker from Tatooine. 
And I did get this one because I think they had this in one of their boxes. I don't know if Nerdblock had it or if somebody else had it, but I got this specific one in one of my boxes. But still a very cool Funko Pop. I shouldn't stack these right here because I'm going to have to move them to get to the boxes behind them. I'm not doing a great job of thinking. Okay, the next one we got, and this one is in also terrible condition, we got The Collector from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've only seen this movie once. You guys know that's not my favorite, and I don't even remember this guy. I'm sure he's a main character, obviously, because he's got a Funko Pop made after him, but uh, he looks very nice. <gasps> oh my God. Well, that defeated the whole... Ah. This is such a disaster. I guess I'll put him right here. I know you won't be able to see him. And then the last one that we got is Brennan Huff from Step Brothers. Oh, this box is also in not great condition. It's, I don't know, it's creased in the back. I'm not gonna lie. I think I've only seen half of this movie. I don't remember fully seeing it, but this is, I'm assuming this is supposed to be, is this guy the Will Ferrell? It looks like it based off of the picture in the back. So I'm gonna say this is the dude that Will Ferrell played in the movie. All right, so that was the second box. Again, even though I think I was more a fan of the first box because I liked more of the pop vinyls that I got in it, but good pop vinyls, not like stupid pop vinyls, so I'm a fan of that. All right, here we go, guys. Box number three. Okay, we got more pop vinyls. Maybe, you know, now that I think about it, I feel like, is it Loot Crate that has a Titan vinyl, like, partnership? So maybe Nerdblock isn't doing Titan vinyls anymore, so they just had a ton of the Funko Pops, I guess. Okay, this is cool. So we got Crazy Eyes from Orange is the New Black. I like her. I would have liked Alex or Piper, but I like Crazy Eyes too. She's funny. Then we got Jack Crawford from Hannibal from the TV show Hannibal. Not familiar with that show or this guy. He kind of looks like Omar Epps from House. So I could just pretend like that's him. He's got the nice suit on and everything. I loved House, that was one of my favorite shows. We got Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't like creepy zombie things like this. I mean, it's not a zombie thing, but I don't like creepy things like this. But he is heavy, which means that he's got a lot of material on him. Okay, and then we got Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Since I'm not a huge Breaking Bad fan, I'm a bad fan, I'm thinking maybe I should do like a giveaway with like themed giveaways. I don't know, I'm in the process of trying to figure out if I can sell some of my stuff. Um, Cause obviously the giveaways, I'm not doing enough giveaways to make it like, to make the stuff go away from my house fast enough. So I'm thinking about selling things. Oh, while we take an intermission from unboxing these, if I were to sell like themed boxes, like if I were to put together like a Breaking Bad box that had a whole bunch of Breaking Bad things that I've received um, throughout this past year, and, and then I sold it or, or I put it out on eBay for you guys to bid on. Is that something that you guys would be interested in? I don't know. I just, you know, it was just an idea. Like almost, you guys have all said like you should make your own subscription box. So it'd be like me making my own subscription boxes, but they would be themed. Although the only ones that I'd have are like things that I don't like. Obviously like Doctor Who and Breaking Bad and things like that. But let me know what you guys think about that and if you might bid on that. Okay, we have two more left. I didn't set this up very well, so here we go. Vinyl Palooza, box number four. Okay, so oh, I forgot to tell you, the last box that I got, that was probably my least favorite. So right now, my ranking is box one is in first place, box two is in second place, box three is in third place. How convenient. All right, we got Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, I can't get over that, okay. We got the TIE Fighter Pilot. This is not from the new series though, it's from the old series. But still a cool one. I'm not collecting the old series, but I, since I have a few of them, I mean I have them, and they'll be part of my collection, but I'm not gonna like go out and try to collect the entire series like I did with The Force Awakens. Which I still haven't completed yet, because it just got kinda crazy. All right, next we have Eric Northman from True Blood. Oh, not a fan of that show. And then we got Craig Jenko from 21 Jump Street. I've only seen this movie once, and I don't really remember it all that well. But this is the dude that is played by Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Is it Jonah Hill? Is that, did I get that right, Jonah Hill? I think that's right. Okay, so I think right now this is, this box that I just did, the fourth box is in third place. So it would go first box is in first, second is in second, third is, I changed my mind. So, okay. It would be first box is in first, fourth box is in second, the second box is in third, and the third box is in fourth. That's so confusing. Okay, see now I have all these stuffed animals behind it. I gotta just 
dump off. They're there, you just can't see them. All right, here we go, guys. Box number five, this is the last one. I'm not excited just by looking at the tops of them. Can you guys guess who they are? I'll give you 10 seconds to guess. Da na 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 da na 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 I think I might have seen this this movie one time, actually. How Asian of me. Or how non-Asian of me, I guess, if I haven't really seen it or I don't remember it. Then we got The Mountain from Game of Thrones. Oh, I got um, Grey Worm from this series. Look, I might as well just start collecting Game of Thrones. Or see if I make a Game of Thrones box for you guys. I already have two Funko Pops I can put in it. And then we got Suki Stackhouse from True Blood. So I would say that this box is officially in last place. <laughs> um, so let me see if I can remember this. Currently, first place goes to the first box that I open. Second place goes to the fourth box that I open. Third place goes to the second box that I open. Uh, fourth place will go to the third box that I open. And then last place is the last box that I just opened. And that's just based on what I like. Me, me personally. You guys might think differently. Um, I guess, oh, that'd be interesting. So you guys saw which ones, you know, I got for each box. Let me in the comment section below overall, what's your ranking of each box? Between one and five, which one was the best for number one and which one was the worst at number five? Let me know. Can I just say this? First of all, this Vinyl Palooza, I know a lot of you guys, I, it seemed like a lot of you guys were disappointed, but I'm extremely not disappointed compared to the last time I did the Vinyl Palooza because I got like, I did get some like, like the cool Ecto-1, but at the end of the day, I had a lot of like weird Doctor Who Titan vinyls that I was just like, why do I get this? And I got a ton of duplicates surprisingly, and I don't know if they did this on purpose, I did complain a lot about it last time, I got no duplicates within five boxes, and I didn't even order the boxes separately. I contemplated because last time when I ordered all the boxes together, I got tons of duplicates, so I was like, maybe if I order them separately. But this time around, I ordered them all together, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can't complain, right? I, I didn't get any duplicates. I'm very excited. Again, the first box is still probably my favorite out of all of them with the Breakfast Club and Deadpool and Napoleon Dynamite and then, well, the Breaking Bad guy's not my favorite, but I like a majority of those things. I'm glad I got a couple Star Wars ones. And you know, like I said, even though I don't like all of these, I'm excited that I got a couple from each series. I got a couple from Breaking Bad. I got a couple from Orange is the New Black. So all in all, I actually think I succeeded. Now each box cost about $30. With the price point that I usually give these at $10, you're getting about $40 worth of value for your $30. So it's good value. I mean, obviously the one thing is that you get random Funko Pops that you might not necessarily want or need. All right guys, so uh, yeah. This was my Vinyl Palooza box, 2016 Vinyl Palooza. I don't know how often they do this, but so far it's been yearly. So I'm very happy with it. Overall, I would have to give it probably a, the fact that I got five of them, no duplicates, good value, and a good assortment, I would probably give this like a 4.25 or 4.5 out of five noobs. Each box ranks a little bit differently because I liked each box a little bit different. Like obviously like the last box, it'd probably be less, like maybe a 3.75 for me, but I'm not gonna get that into it. So I'd say overall probably on average like a 4 or 4.25 out of 5 names. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. I'm currently trying to hit 6,000 subscribers by the end of May to hit my one year goal. And then after that, I'm just going to try to go for 10,000. I'm aiming high. I'm aiming really high, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about it. Like I said, a lot of you guys seem disappointed by the boxes that you got, but I'm pretty happy with the ones I got. You know, yeah, I'm planning on either giving some away or selling some, but I think that it was a good assortment. I'm glad I didn't get duplicates. They were all Funko Pops, so the value is there. Some of the boxes were a little bit damaged. That's the only negative I could really say about it, but I'm pretty happy with it. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about it, and if you had a rank out of the five boxes that I got, how would you rank them? I don't remember what my ranking was because it was very confusing, but, you know, you can rewind and listen back and see how does yours match up with mine. 
And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! And then we got Greg Janko from 21 Drum Jump Street from 21 Drum, oh my god, um, which then I would say insert there is this weird, I'm tripping right now, I am tripping out so hard, what the heck is that? I think there's something on the lens but it's glaring like it's 3D, like it's popping out at me and I want to just like, like it's floating in the air and I wanna just take it, but I'm pretty sure that it's not there. That's trippy, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy.